Follow all Moesu news on his website, www.mosu.com, on his Facebook and Instagram page too, for daily exclusive publications. Hello and welcome on Mauricio for this new video about the Modix Basics. And you have the six front of me, you have also the seven with the sync keyboard action and the eight with the piano keyboard action and today we are going to talk about the envelope follower what is that envelope and follower that's the topic of this today video i'm going to explain to you all the things you need to know for using the great envelope follower if you do not know me my name is joel borg and you can also follow me on my facebook it's called moisture instagram moisture 13 and on the website as a reference www.moisu.com and if you are not already a Moisu YouTube follower click on subscribe and click on the bell to be informed when I release a new video so what is envelope follower why does on this performance I have had a drum arpeggio part but you see but you do not hear in this example that's the mystery you will see that in the bonus so suit all along the video. So, envelope follower, what does it mean? It means that there is something in destination that will follow the audio envelope of a sound from the Modix or something coming from the AD input. So, this is not MIDI, this is not arpeggio, this is analyzing, I will say, the audio waveform because you have the drummer that play drums connect through the AD input on stage and you put a microphone near the drummer and you hear this waveform it's moving and you affect the destination for a part about this and it will change the sound evolving through the audio envelope of the drummer playing here for an external or you can make a microphone for the general playing for the band add a good compressor inside you have good compressor but have a good compressor to have good in trial level for the envelope follower. In this case, if you use the AD input, but you can also use a part like I have done here. That's why I have a drum part here, because this is the drum part, the envelope follower the, will follow the audio waveform, I would say, from my drum part. Okay? So we have here a polypad MWDA, nice polypad. And I have set a destination for the envelope follower because, as I remember, like for the motion sequencer, see my video about the motion sequencer, like for any controllers, if you want to have something under control, you need to set the destination through the controllers, for the controllers. So here for the envelope follower, the destination is a classic versus the cutoff for the filter, okay? So all done this. Simply press on the part, like you are on Modix, and press edit. And go to mode control to control the sign here. And here you see for the cutoff, which is the destination, I have set the envelope follower to. Why the two? Because I want the envelope follower suit my drum, which is in part two. If you want the envelope follower follow the bass arpeggio, as an example, and the bass will be on part three, you will set in this case the envelope follower three. So easy like that. Envelope follower one for suiting part one. So on the same part, a little bit complex, but choose one over the four, if you have a part four. If you want to manage with the AD input, you can set the AD. If you want to manage through the master, because you can set the master, you can do the master, but here on my case, I want the envelope follower for the part two be the source for the destination for my part one, which is cut off, I have set a ratio here with a good level to have something and what does it down made the arpeggio plating to let here you and you here know my pad which is a static pad there is nothing on the pad no arpeggio nothing suit the audio envelope 
or of the German have a modulation like that. So that's a very great tool, but I think not too much users use and you can use it on stage with a microphone and you can use it at home, of course. It's very, very, very great and powerful tool you have here, so do not hesitate to use it. Can we manage some levels and things? Of course, we have seen we have the ratio for the destination, but of course, we have some things. We can go on edit and the easy way, I say, go to FX routing here. We are routing and simply here you have the envelope follower here. And be careful on one thing when you set this or you can use that here. You see by default, the part one is select, but the part one receive and you have the arrow up. That means if the part one sends something. So if you want to set the parameters for the envelope follower for part two, you need to select part two. You can select it here and you see the arrow up. So that's the source and the part one receive, you have the arrow down and you can do like that. So if you use AD as source, you can select directly by that through all the parts and the master. So let's keep on part two. And we have a gain. Be careful with the gain because you say, oh, there is a gain. I want to improve the part level. So I push the gain at the maximum level. Yes, okay. No pad. <laughs> <laughs> no, you need to have a low level. So minus 24 is the, the lower level, but say for the envelope follower, not for the pad levels. That's the things you need to understand. So you need to manage this carefully. I will go on higher level. And you have two other settings. You have the attack from one millisecond to 40. So take all the pads stay normal without the cut of re removing, I will say here in my example, of course, you can set one of the thing if you want. Um, like it's sh very short in milliseconds, perhaps you do not hear so much impact here about the attack. <laughs> A little bit, I would say, a little bit, of course. But the most important setting for me is the release. Because for the release, you can go from 10 milliseconds to 680. And if you put something too much, you will not hear your pad coming normally with the cutoff level up. Because you say keep level low, I would say, to simplify the things. So you have things, but really low level. Perhaps that's what you want to have, of course. So let's go to this level. So try what you want, what you want to achieve to have. To have the maximum details, perhaps to do the game and find the good settings for this. If you want to go deeper on that or anything about the montage, Modix, Modix Plus, you can ask me for a Mauricio Masterclass. It's online through Zoom. We are one-to-one -one and you choose the topic we are going to work together. That's the most important thing. This is not a mandatory lesson when we need to shoot. You choose your topic and at the end you have your video recording that you can download and review on your computer as many times you need. You have all information on video description, always with the video description, and on video ending. So shoot all along the video just after the bonus. That's the bonus time. And for this bonus, perhaps you think, okay, that's great. We have this nice thing, and uh, the envelope follower let me the part follow the audio waveform for drum playing, but. If I use the mic for the drums on side me on the stage, as an example, I do not want to have the drum coming out from my modix. That's not possible because I will have the real mic for the drums and I have a second mic that come here and goes out. And of course, we have something for that. And even if you walk inside, if you do not want to hear the drum, do not push the volume to zero. 
we have a better way to do that, so press on the part, press edit, and simply go to part setting general here, and here on the main note set off, and perhaps you think, oh, it's crazy, set off, there is no sound. There is no sound coming out the master, but the envelope follower will follow what the drum is doing. Let's hear! Ta-da! You need to keep the arpeggio on, of course, because here yeah, this is a, an arpeggio, but for the aid input like this, you do not hear the drum player playing like that. So, that's all for this video. I hope you have found it interesting. I hope you have liked it. If yes, please click on the blue thumb. It's very important for me because I am alone to do all I done here on the YouTube channel, but also on the Facebook, on the Instagram, on the website. So, if you like the video, it's very important for me to have some likes. It helps you better know the channel too. So, just click. It takes two seconds for you only. If you want to help me to improve the quality of the things I done here on this channel, you have bottom right of video, you have the super thanks. The super thanks are the kind of donation, it starts from $2 to what you want. So, from all the video I done, sometimes you see, oh, this is very really great, I learned something, and you want to help me, you can use the super thanks to thank me, and help me to improve the gear. As example, this year I changed my front cam, I changed my sound card to have a better audio uh, rendering, I had some new software, I need to renew some licenses every uh, year, of course, to produce this great quality video. So if you want to help with the super thanks, thank you. In advance, if you want a Moesio Masterclass, you have all information on video description and on video ending. See you soon for one of our Moesio video. Bye! Would you like to discover, learn or improve your knowledge of your Yamaha synthesizer or stage keyboard? Book your Moesu Master Class now. Your private session is conducted online through Zoom. Take all benefit of Moesu expertise, Yamaha synthesizers and stage keyboard specialist for nearly 20 years and consultant for Yamaha Music Europe and France. As member of International Yamaha Tech Talk Live Team and host of the Camel of Pro Sessions for Audio Modeling, Joel take care of your experience level. Whether you're a beginner or a skilled user, get the most out of your Yamaha synthesizer, stage keyboard, John Mela's software suite or Camel of Pro. Book your session from the Moesu Facebook page, use slots available in the service tab, or by email, moesu at orange.fr. This service is available in French and English, only for users who live in European Union. Camelot Pro 1 to 1 Masterclass are available for users all over the world through audio modeling platform. Thank you for watching this Moesu video, do not forget to click on like, subscribe, and click on the bell, to be informed when a new video is online. Do not hesitate to write a comment, or ask a question. See you soon, bye!